What's going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Today's the day we're going to turn on this entire solar setup. You guys might know in one of the previous videos, I actually wired this all up, getting this out of my crypto mining solar trailer. I brought it down here, set it all up, hooked it all up, and we should be good to go now. I got the panels hooked up, I got the feed going out hooked up, the batteries coming in hooked up, and then the communication cables to the second 6000 XP. I just need to put the uh, faceplate on those two and get everything livened up. But before we do that, I need to get these three lines right here situated inside this panel now these three lines if you guys have been following the channel you guys know that these were from a previous grow tent that i had actually heating my house for i think it was either one or two winters i'm not really sure but either way i had a giant grow tent down here the thing was like eight feet long and it worked awesome right the electric bill unfortunately was not awesome because my electric rate climbed from like 14 cents to like 30 cents in the matter of like a year and a half so i had to unfortunately stop mining down here and that's uh what we did we cleaned up and this is what i got left so what we're going to do is utilize this long wire here this is the longest one out of the three and we're going to be landing this in this panel right right to this two pole 30 breaker. Now regarding these other two lines, what we're gonna do with these is we're just gonna get them into the top of that electrical box as well, and we're just gonna cap them off so they're actually in a safe location. Now, I gotta get situated and figure out my plans to get this wire out to the trailer. So just before we do that, let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor. Crypto Miner Bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs. Founded in 2018, this company specializes in top quality ASIC miners from brands like Bitmain, Goldshell, and many others. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, they offer competitive prices, fast shipping, and easy payment options worldwide. Pay with bank transfer, Bitcoin, or even other cryptocurrencies, no cash needed. The prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. Okay, so we got a plan. I have everything capped off, as you can see, all the hots, everything except for the ground. The ground doesn't matter. It doesn't need a wire nut. But what I'm going to do is turn on the breakers one at a time because I have a sub panel over in my other room, which I'll show you guys. And I'm going to use this uh, electrical tester here to see what is hot. All right, I apologize for the lighting. I had to stick a flashlight up there. But anyways, so these are the breakers that basically are for mining, right? So I have the 20 amp two poles on this side, the 30 amp two poles on this side. Two of these go to the trailer and one of them goes over to where the grow tent was because I had one 30 amp over there and two 20 amps over there. So the two that are off, I'm assuming, are the um, grow tent area. And then I think this one is the 30 amp that I had over there. So let's turn that on and we'll go see. Moment of truth. Nope. Nope. It's not that one. I knew I wouldn't be that lucky. Oh, it's this one. All right. So this was, this was that 30 amp. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So we're going to kill this one and I'm going to turn on this one, please. Damn it. Yep. All right. So it's a shorter one. <laughs> I have the worst luck. Okay. This one's back off. Turn that one on, and that should be it. At least it better be it. Come on. What the f***? You know what? After I just tested everything, this, I don't think, is actually landed to a breaker inside that panel. I think it's just capped off, and I think I found it. So let's do a continuity test. All right, so I just put the two hots together. So a continuity test basically is just to make sure that there is a a looped current all the way through the whole circuit there. So... What I ended up doing was finding these wires, and I'm pretty positive it's those two. All right, so the way continuity works is basically this thing will beep if it actually connects a circuit. So I'm trying to do this one-handed. You got, you can hear it. So these are the legs I need. Okay, so now that I identified the two lines that I need to hook up, the ground is actually already landed. It's this orange wire right there, actually. So I followed the ground that's down here and it actually is landed to the ground bar which is good so i can land that in the sub panel over there or the uh, off-grid panel over there just to utilize the same ground and then we will uh 
yeah, be able to twin this to one of the lines that's going out to the trailer, which is, again, any of those lines right there with the T on them. So I'm going to have to disconnect it from one of these breakers here, actually. So, yeah, let's, uh, I guess, get it landed in the panel over here, and then we'll be good to go. And there we go. Everything's all wired up. So I actually got this wire into the box. I put one of those uh, push button connectors there so it's protected. It's installed properly. Now I need to find two more of those push buttons to be able to get these wires in here. But that's the least of my worries. I'm just excited to be able to turn this system on now because the ground coming from this 10-3 wire, I actually ended up uh, putting it on the ground here. So this entire panel is now grounded. Uh, I also... The reason the other panel actually looks so messy is because all of the 10-3 that I actually used when I only really needed 10-2, I actually took all the red wires or the extra wires that I wasn't using, the third extra wire, it was just tucked off to the side. So that's why it looks like there's so many extra wires in that other panel. I just didn't want to cut it short. It just didn't want to uh, waste the leg if I ever needed it again, right? So anyways, now I got to run outside quick and turn on the pergola and then we will be able to liven up the solar into this unit we can get these batteries on and make sure this system works at least to this plug right here and then i can get power out to the uh trailer so give me a second safety first all right we're live we got this thing on outside at the uh, pergola so now what i got to do is turn on all these batteries individually then we'll power up the bus bars and we will get this whole thing live everything should be good no issues. They're still at 99%. I shut them off or they were full. Actually, that second one is at 100. Fourth, fifth one's at 100. And so is the sixth one. All right. Let's, uh, I guess, liven it up. All six of them. Okay. Again, these batteries have fire suppression in them, so I'm not too concerned with these. I'm just, uh, yeah, just for safety. All right. Let's uh, turn this unit on should come on without the panels i think i forget to be honest oh duh gotta turn this on now we should have power to this unit okay there we go as you can see it doesn't have any panel power coming in but that'll change in three two one there we go uh, let's see again it's raining out so probably not gonna get too much here but uh it'd be nice if we got some all right there we go so now it shows 249 volts or so coming in uh from string one and two all right and we got about 120 watts really nothing nothing today nothing today I don't understand how these buttons work, to be honest. I hit the down button, it goes to the next one instead of going back. I, I don't fully understand this, but anyways, I use my app to monitor this. But I'm stoked. That's on. So now what I have to do is not touch anything in here, but turn on that breaker in hopes that that livens up. And then we'll turn on the outlet right here to make sure that works. I just want to just double checking as I'm talking to make sure everything is uh, nice and good, tight everywhere. All these breakers are tight. The feeds in are tight. You just want to make sure everything's good. And we should see a, uh, a blue light here or so when we liven this load up. Three, two, one. Okay, loads on. Now, as soon as I flick this on, the whole panel will be live. Okay, now this will liven up this outlet. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. We have a fully functional system in here even though i'm going to be shutting it off again just so i could hook up the uh the rest of the uh trailer line actually you know what? i really could leave this on to be honest but i gotta get these landed and i'm not gonna land these in a live panel because that's just stupid but man i am so pumped all right so now i guess in the upcoming videos right i do need to obviously get these guys communicating properly uh, together these two 6,000 XP's and I've never done that before I don't know how to do that so I want to get them communicating properly but I need to get the lines into this guy first from the uh, solar shed so that is going to be again in one of the next upcoming videos so let me just I guess button up this uh, panel here let me try to get these in there and then we will uh, go out to the trailer get that livened up and then we'll call it a day Okay, we got the wires twinned together right here. I removed this breaker. I located this in the trailer, so 
That is actually perfect. Now uh, let's go turn it on. All right, so I couldn't find any more push button connectors for those guys to go in here. So I'll land those at a later date when I end up uh, getting the cover holes to cover these two ports here. But no further ado, let's get this uh, trailer plug on. Three, two, one. Didn't pop. Okay, should be good. And I also forgot that this has a breaker on it and this didn't come on yet. So let's try this Nerd Gears PDU. Three, two, one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude, that thing's sick. That's awesome, that's like perfect height too for the camera. That is amazing. All right, I just heard this ramp up, which means my PDU in the trailer kicked on. Let's just go double check and then we'll call it a day. It's raining. I'm trying to cover the camera. All right, whew, we made it. Yes, it's on. Hell yeah, we're good. And that is the plug right there. I know it's kind of dark, but that's it. That's it, man. If we ever need another one, there she is. And I'll just do the same thing, locate another breaker with the other wire and damn, that's amazing. I stole this wire out of the uh, trailer there because before we get out of here, we're moving this thing to off grid because F paying the electric on this. 433 watts that I don't need to be paying an electric bill on. That's fantastic. I'll be able to heat my entire basement next winter off grid. Amazing. All right, guys, listen, that's it. I got it up and functional. That's all I really cared about. I shut the uh, breaker to the trailer back off just for uh, safety. Again, it's it's raining out there and I'm not plugging anything in anyways. So I just want to make sure that it's 100% uh, good to go. I want to be able to monitor out there for a little bit, just like I'm going to monitor this, make sure everything is running smooth for the rest of the night. So you guys have a great rest of your night and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.